Well, I'm delighted to be joined by Warsaw reporter Liam Keane, our weekly catch-up. Liam, looking forward to it every week now. Um, and there has been some some breaking news in the last hour. There has. Uh, I'll just quickly get this out of the way. First of all, it's the same jumper as last time, and I haven't done my hair, so just people okay. can slap me off. Okay. Um, I have to get it out there for my own vanity. I've got to say it, but. Um, yeah, so this, this was good time in this video. Um, in the last half an hour, um, Lee Pomlet, the chairman, Warsaw chairman, has been on uh, a podcast with Adrian Goldberg um, and essentially has, uh, has confirmed what we've been waiting to find out for a while, that uh, the majority of uh, non-playing staff are have been furloughed. Um, so it's been described as a skeleton staff that's still on, uh, which I don't know have the exact number, but it is uh, it's quite few. I know that some people in the communications department, um, ticketing office, things like that, uh, some of the directors uh, are still working. Um, but we're talking about less than less than thirty or twenty people. Uh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. I don't have the exact number, but it's certainly less than that. It's uh, the vast vast majority are on that scheme. Um, and then the alongside that, now it's confirmed that uh, well, I say confirmed. It's been set that the players uh, and the playing staff are going to be put on the scheme as well, provided that uh, the PFA um, and EFL can come to some sort of agreement because, uh, as you can probably guess, the PFA are probably going to say, this is this is me uh, guessing a little bit, but they're probably mm-hmm. going to say um, that they want the players to either be reimbursed later down the line um, or to be have a guarantee of getting a certain... Uh, percentage back or something along those lines. Yes. Um, yes. You, you imagine that they obviously the nature of of the of their body is that they've got the players' interests uh, at heart, um, mm-hmm. regardless of what anyone else thinks. Um, so that's the the case. What we're thinking. Um, but it's also been said that the um, the club are paying. They're topping up the extra twenty percent. So for people that don't know, furlough uh, means that the government will pay eighty percent of their wages up to I think it's two and a half thousand. Um, the club are topping up the the rest of that percentage for them to, to ensure that this is for playing and non-playing staff so uh, what, to ensure what's, they get 100 percent what's been the kind of like um early reaction to it obviously a lot of high profile clubs i say a lot of few high profile clubs who have who have gone down this route have been highly criticized of course warsaw um are in league two they've got they've got you know they haven't, got, they haven't got the kind of financial resources that likes of Liverpool or, or Tottenham have. I know that Liverpool pull that back now. But um, do, did you expect this? Did you see this coming? And, and do you think that this um, it's probably the only route they could have gone down? Uh, I definitely expected it. And it's the sensible route and probably the only route, I'd say. Um, if I was to give my honest opinion on, for example, the Liverpool situation, um, I don't think that furlough is there for a club like Liverpool to be taken. Mm-hmm. It's for... It, actually, take the word club out of it. It's for businesses like Liverpool, a business like Warsaw, and any other business like it, whether it's a bakery down the road or it's a, a shoe shop or whatever it is, businesses that can't afford to keep this staff on without the government intervention. That's what furlough's there for. Furlough's mm-hmm. there not for, not for a club like Liverpool, who at the end of the season are going to get 100 million plus in TV revenue at the end of the season anyway. It's they can afford to pay regardless of how long the the, uh, the situation is. So Warsaw are, are in that situation. They're, they're one of those businesses that are in that coming to that remit for me that would have had to let staff go had they not been able to do this. I would again uh, suppose so. That is it, it's the right decision. It's a good decision, um, and they've taken full advantage of a government scheme that's there to help keep businesses alive. Um, and I think it's I think well I think it's only good news in terms of reaction uh, as as you say very early reaction because I'll have a quick look on my Twitter now it's only been what half an hour or so or just over forty five minutes since it's all come out but the majority of fans are are pleased um, particularly with the twenty percent uh, news which was an add on later on uh, to a tweet I put so um, because the club didn't have to do that. Mm-hmm. But it's you know it's it's goodwill and it's the right thing to do if you could afford it. Uh, they obviously can. Um, it's a goodwill gesture and it, it it's good PR <laughs> at the end of the day. That's not the reason they've done it, but it's it, it does look good on the club as well. Um, mm-hmm. I think fans have been quite pleased with it. Can you see a lot of other clubs in League Two and League One following suit with this then? Yes. So uh, one of the things that. Um, Lee Pom that mentioned in his uh, in his interview was that he said, "I'll just actually get the the quote if that's okay, just so I don't yeah, misquote, you go for it, yeah. mis- misquote him." Do, 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 one second. 
I'm just currently trying to to search it while I'm, uh, I've got phones. Because all your all your task bars are up on Chat Man, mate. In FIFA twenty, that's why you got to yeah, close oh, all yeah, them yeah, down. Yeah. Get all those um, tabs down, mate. The the quote is Warsaw won't go it alone at this. We're waiting for guidance of the EFL and after conversations with the PFA, then we'll take some action on it. It needs to happen reasonably quickly now. Mm -hmm. So in that he's saying, which everyone is expecting, that they won't be the only club that do this with the players. Um, I can't think of a club off the top of my head that has announced that they're planning this with players yet. I don't know if you can. Uh, not with... Uh, Sunderland, I think, have done it, haven't they? Uh, maybe, maybe I have missed one. But either way, Warsaw are one of the front runners any with one of the clubs to say it. Uh, Lee Pomlin's been very open and very clear about his desire to, to communicate. Mm -hmm. He's also been critical of the PFA in the past, uh, relatively recently. Um, and it seems to me that he's sort of calling for action on their part a little it's bit It's got again. to happen quickly, yeah? Yeah, exactly, which is what he said at the end there. So it's um, Warsaw won't be the, the only club that does this. In League 2, I'd be surprised if there's any clubs that don't. Uh, mm -hmm. personally and there's plenty of clubs which Lee mentions in this interview as well there's plenty of clubs that pay well over the odds for player players player wages and uh, their overheads are huge uh, compared to Warsaw so there's uh, plenty of clubs that are going to need it mm -hmm. far more than Warsaw do yet Warsaw still relied on it so there's going to be a lot of clubs that are uh, are going to be relying on this uh, on this scheme I think Liam, thank you very much. Perfect timing. No um, we'll hear from you at the same time I'll next week. Do my hair week. better next time. Do you maybe do your hair a little bit better? <laughs> maybe grow it out a little bit. And uh, if something happens in the meantime, obviously we'll, we'll we'll do a video chat as and when. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers.